The A2 is our first monolight in our A-series of products. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to use it. The A2 is our first 70mm monolight. Not only does this make it super portable, it also gives it compatibility with the entire line of click light shaping tools. On the top of the flash, you'll find the battery. The A2 utilizes the same battery as the A10, giving you the ability to easily switch back and forth. The light stand adapter on the A2 was designed to give you multiple ways to mount it. To install the adapter, just tighten the thumb screw at the base until tight. The adapter also has a 9mm umbrella port designed to work with most umbrellas. Removing the stand adapter gives you access to the quarter 20 receptacle for other mounting options. The bottom of the flash also has a USB-C port for firmware updates. Now let's jump into how you control the A2. The buttons and dials are laid out to be simple and intuitive. And the big bold display has plenty of real estate to give you all the information you need for your A2. To power up the unit, simply hold down the white button for a moment. This is also the test light for the flash. The small button on the left gives you the ability to toggle the modeling light on or off. The center dial allows for you to adjust the power of the A2 with a simple spin. To access the menu of the A2, just press the button located in the center dial. The first option in the menu is Air Group. This gives you the ability to assign the A2's group for control from any of our air remotes. Air Channel allows you to set the channel of the A2 for syncing with your Profoto remote. The Air option gives you the ability to toggle air on and off. The Bluetooth setting allows you to set Bluetooth connectivity on or off. By turning it on, you have the ability to connect your A2 with the Connect and Camera apps. You can also disconnect devices under this setting. The Continuous Light option allows for control of the continuous light's intensity. Max gives you 100% output, while Proportional sets the intensity based on the power of the flash. Now, let's jump into the advanced settings. The first setting is Ready Sounds. This setting gives you audible or visual feedback that the flash has fully recycled. Control Sounds gives tactile feedback for the controls of the A2. Warning Sounds will give an audible alarm if you've reached the threshold of the flash power or if the desired setting is out of range in TTL mode. Display Brightness controls the light intensity of the display. Remember that the brightness of the display can affect battery life. Standby and Auto Off are battery saving features that either put the unit to sleep or shut it off after a period of inactivity. Standby gives you the option of 5 minutes, 30 minutes, 1 hour and never, while Auto Off gives you 15 minutes, 1 hour and never. The About section displays your current firmware version as well as your product serial number. And regulatory information displays just that. And finally, Factory Reset allows you to reset all of your remote settings back to factory default. And that's it! Now you know how to use the Profoto A2.